All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to replace the Shield TV default launcher, which is now graced with advertising. And we're going to show you how to put something on here that's just more of an app launcher, although you could put widgets and other stuff in here. We're going to try to keep this as simple as possible. We're going to use Sideload Channel Launcher 3 for TV. And don't let that Reddit thing freak you out. It has, uh, you can do this without any sort of Reddit stuff. So we're going to go ahead and search. Here's the icon for it. Sideload Channel Launcher 3. It does cost $3.49. I'm okay paying for software that helps me do what I need it to do. So we're going to go ahead and buy this guy. And um, yeah, so we're going, to, we're going to use this to not only replace this launcher, but we're also going to use it as a button remapper to remap our home button to go to that launcher. Um, and we're also going to have this launcher default on boot up, which you, normally you'd have to have a couple of different tools for. All right, so once you've purchased it and installed it, you've got uh, a bunch of stuff to look at here. I would recommend looking through it. It's gonna tell you what it needs. We're gonna go through most of it here as well. Go ahead and allow. And as you can see, uh, I don't know, I, there's a lot of this that I'm not super excited about looking at, but let's go down to app settings. The first thing we need to do is get that button mapped. And to do that, we're gonna have to make some changes to our accessibility settings. So if we select, we're also gonna launch on boot as well. So I already checked that one there. So let's go into accessibility and enable this within Android's accessibility settings. So I'm gonna select that, it's gonna open my settings for me. We're going to go to device preferences accessibility and we're going to turn on side load channel launcher 3 and enable it yes of course all right back ourselves out of here so now we have the button mapped and we also have this launching on boot so we need to set our button first click to set button I'm gonna hit the home button on the Nvidia shield controller and I'm gonna go ahead and while we're here we might as well look at some of these wallpapers. I'm just going to turn all of them on. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of that text on the left, though. It kind of looks, I don't know, it looks kind of cheap. So in order to do any sort of real configuration here, you'll go into the uh, application settings, which is down here at the bottom, uh, along with a profile switcher. We're not going to really cover profiles. Put yourself in admin mode, edit the row, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of options. For now, I just want to hide the row name and image, right? And then hit save. You have to hit save. If you don't hit save, it'll, it looks like it works, but it doesn't. But I'll have an example in here in a minute where it doesn't work. We're just going to do that to the rest of these rows. I don't really need to see it. All right, so once, um, once we've got that fixed, we're gonna go ahead and see what else can we do here. Let's align this row to the right so that it kind of puts the time and everything in the upper right-hand corner. That looks better. Now, in order to kind of see the results of our work, we'll need to go turn admin back off close admin mode. There we go. And now, now that, that looks acceptable. There's a couple of icons in here I need to get rid of. I don't need Plex Media Server here, for example, so we'll delete that tile. Um, yeah, so, so now we have a nice, simple, simple layout. Let's do a couple more things. Let's go ahead and add an application. I want to put the settings, the settings gear up there. Um, do you want to add another one? No. All right, so now we have the gear up there. Well, it's looking all right. Let's go ahead and do some advanced options in here. Um, I want to make this smaller. I don't want this row size to be as big. And I'm going to um, reduce the spacing, the top and bottom spacing here. Kind of tighten it up a little bit. And make sure we hit save. Okay, so let's see what we look like now. 
Okay, it looks okay except for the gear is sort of off-center, and that's because it's allowing it to put the name underneath it. Well, I know what the gear does. I don't need the name underneath it, so let's go shut that off. So we'll do that by editing the icon itself and show name on focus. We'll get rid of that. And let's see how we did. All right, perfect. Okay, the clock looks a little goofy. I might as well fix that while I'm in here. We'll edit the widget. I don't know. Let's just play with this a little bit, make it square. Uh, let's leave the font size. I was thinking about making it smaller, but the gear is already big, so. Okay, well, that, I don't know if that looks any better, but that's fine. <laughs> all right, so now we have all of our apps. Um, I'm going to get rid of Netflix because I don't care, and I'm going to move Prime Video ahead. And now I need to go ahead and, and start uh, adding the rest of my tools here. So I am going to um, restart to make sure that the boot worked. And I'm going to cut the, the boot process short for you so you don't have to sit through it. But when it boots up, you'll see the old launcher for just a moment. This is normal. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're in your, you're in your new launcher. And this works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of my other applications. I added them one at a time. And when you're done with everything the way you want it, go down to App Settings and Export it. Send your configuration, save your configuration just in case you want to use it somewhere else. Maybe on another Shield TV. And we'll save it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much, everybody.